All right, let's get it started. Hi, everyone. Hello, and welcome to our spooky haunted house lesson. All right, this time we celebrate Halloween, and I hope you all wearing your costumes. All right, so let's start. For those who doesn't know me, my name is Olena, and I am your teacher for today. Today we will draw, learn new words, and of course, have fun. So welcome one more time to our Halloween lesson. The first lesson, its name, The Haunted House. And I hope all of you are our students, but if you are not our student, I tell you about the school. What is all right? All right is a Ukrainian international school of English for all kids from four to 12. By the way, tell me how old are you? All right, how old are you? Let me see how many are you four, how many are you 12? So we have been making children fall in love with English for over six years. And for now we have 20,000 happy students from 23 countries all around the world. So join us to study and learn English together. So maybe your mom is sitting next to you or your dad is sitting next to you and is asking, why is English the key to your child's success future? So I tell you, the first reason to study English is of course well-paid jobs in all the international companies. The second one, the second reason, you can travel all around the world without any language barriers. And three, all the content in the internet. You can watch movies in English, read books in English, in the original language. So you can book the first free trial lesson under this video and sign up for free. So join us in the link and let's start. All right, so before we start, I got two questions for you. The first one, okay, let's look at the rules. What do you need for the lesson? You need the haunted house template. This picture, do you have it? Tell me in chat. Okay, hello from Ukraine. Nice to see you, Elena. Hi, Yaroslav, nice to meet you. So one more time, do you have this template? Yes, no, if you don't have, you can take the piece of paper to draw. Okay. The second one, you need a pencil. Okay. And of course, you can use markers, colored pencils, or crayons. Okay. So let's continue. So I got the first question. The question number one What is your name? So can you please write, What's your name? One more time. My name is Olena. I can see some students from Romania. Hello. Hi, Maria. Hi, Misha. Okay. Hello. Nice to hello, Sophia. Nice to see you, Zahar. Mm -hmm. And the second question, where are you from? Tell me what country are you from? Are you from Ukraine? Are you from Poland? Romania? All right. Hi, Paulina from Ukraine. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Wow, so many of you boys and girls. That's awesome. So I can talk slower. If you don't understand me, I will talk slower. Okay, so I can see your names. Now I know where are you from. Let's start. So today we've got four new words. One, two, three, four. Just repeat after me and say this word. Okay, so the first one Okay, join your hands together and say roof. All right, just repeat after me. Roof. You can, yes, you can look up and you can see the roof on the houses. So the first one is the roof. I've got the question for you. What color is the roof in this picture? So can you write the answer and tell me what color is the roof? Yes. Hi, Daria from Ukraine. Nice to see you. Blue. Okay, thank you so much, Andrea. It's blue, so we can make the sentence. The roof is blue. All right, and it's triangle. The second one, the word number two. Repeat after me. It's chimney. All right, one more time. Chimney. Okay, now we got the question. Do you have a chimney on your house? Has your house got a chimney or no? 
Okay, can you see the chimney on your house, on the roof? No, okay, if no, maybe you live in a flat. If yes, you live in the house, in a private house. I'm from, okay, from a flat. Yes and no, 50-50. The next one, stairs. Again, repeat after me and say it out loud, very, very loud. Stairs. Okay, now you. Stairs. Mm -hmm. All right, now another question. Do you have stairs in your house? Can you walk up, upstairs or downstairs? And again, when you go up, you can say, I go upstairs or go downstairs. All right, and the last word for today, yes, on this picture is a fence. So one more time, say it. Now me, fence, and then you. All right, the fence. All right, now you can find the fence around the house. Now let's repeat all the four words and play a game. Tell me, do you like to play games? Do you like to play? Because I've got many games for you today. Androids. Yes, all right, you like to play games. So let's repeat and play a game. One more time. Roof. Now you. Roof, all right. Chimney. It's on the roof. Chimney. Okay, the next one. Stairs. Show me your fingers and say it with me. Stairs. Okay, and the last one. Fence. Say it. Fence. Okay, now get ready for the game and let's play just a bit. I show you the picture and say, is it a roof or is it a chimney? So please write the answer. Okay. Yes, and tell me what's that? I tell you who is the winner today. So the first one, nasty, well, the first one, nasty, roof, okay. Monica, thank you. Yes, that's a roof. And who said Sophia? Sophia Hodak, thank you. That's a roof. So we can make the sentence. It's a roof. It's not a chimney. All right, you can find the chimney on the roof. You can, okay, let me draw something. And now tell me what's that? If we add it, you can see. Now we can add some smoke, maybe. And now, yes, now this is a chimney. But now that's a roof. Another question. Get ready to answer, to write your answer in chat. Now, is this a chimney or are they stairs? All right, chimney or stairs. Now, yes, I can see Monica was the first one. Who was the second one? Jose was the second one. Wow, so many answers. You're so smart. That's great. Just give me the five. Okay, the second answer, stairs. You can say they are stairs. All right, now let's move to the next question. Get ready and tell me, this or that? Stairs or fence? This one is simple. Very, very simple. Okay. Stairs or fence? Yes, of course. This is a fence. But now, what can we put inside? Maybe the house. Our haunted house behind the fence. Okay, now let's continue. I got four more words for you. Now, the first one is... Okay, let's say it together. Don't forget to repeat after me. It's a bench. You can sit. Sit on the chair, on the sofa, and on the... Can you write the answer? You can sit on the bench. Yes, very good. Do you have a bench inside, in your house? Yes or no? Do you have a bench in your house? Or do you have a bench outside? Who has a bench inside the house? <laughs> Two benches. Okay. You have a bench outside in the garden or on the streets. You can see the benches. All right. The second one 
Yes, let's say it together. The mailbox. Mail. We can say like email. And the box for mail. All together, one more time. Mailbox. All right. Just repeat after me. Yes, just say it. If you don't understand what's going on, just repeat. So number two is mailbox. And the next one, who can tell me what's that? It's a door. But what is front? Okay, let's imagine we've got the house. Okay, let's draw the house and a roof. And the main door is a front door. So let's say it together. Front door. All right, knock, knock, knock. What color is your front door? You can write in comments. My front door is black. What color is your front door? Maybe you got the blue one or the yellow one or the brown. Okay, I can see Rafael has got white front door. Brown. Anyone got orange? Green, brown, white. Okay, that's nice. And the last word for today, that's balcony. It's very simple. So let's say together, balcony. And one more time, balcony. Okay, now tell me what can you put in the balcony? What is in the balcony? I can put some flowers, boxes, my cat. What can you put inside the balcony? And plants, very good. What else? Some old books, some boxes, right, Andrea? Thank you. I haven't got balcony, Nastya says. Okay, that's fine. Flowers dog okay the dog on the balcony that's fine so now once again repeat after me and we will play a game one bench bench okay the second one mail box mail box okay front door front door and the last one balcony balcony i hope you repeat that for me and now it's time to play a game let's look i got the sentence for you this sentence maybe yes maybe it's right maybe no so find the mistake and write the sentence let's read the girl is sitting on the mailbox is the girl sitting on the mailbox or no? No, the answer is no, it's false. But where is the girl sitting? Let's say together. The girl is sitting on the... What is it? Let's remember. What's that? The girl is sitting... Okay, let's correct it. The girl is sitting on the bench. So you can see the bench outside the house, not inside. Now let's get ready for the next task okay let's swipe the box is next to the balcony mm -hmm. it doesn't look like a balcony right the box is next to what's that how can you name it the box is next to the knock 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 yes it's the door but what door is it it has a name from front door yes very good the box is next to the front door so like this one more time the front door and it's white okay very very good you did amazing and now it's time for us to draw to make a picture so now take the paper take the white paper or this template if you have it now we will draw with you just a bit i turn on my picture okay can you see the picture can you see everything tell me yes or no and we start painting and writing and the first one okay let's color the roof okay the first one tell me what color is the roof let's make the picture together tell me your favorite color yes and tell me what color will be the roof okay the first color i see i take 
red. Okay, Rosaria, we will make the red roof. Now I take my red color and I start making it. So the first one, now take your pencils and join me so we can draw together. Okay, the first one, it's red. Now another one. Okay, another one is red. This one we will make it too. Don't forget to draw after we will name them. So now a bit thinner. So we can make the sentence now. The roof is red. Now, okay, did I miss something? And here too. And here. So the roof all the way up is red. And now, okay, let's finish it and write with the red color. It's a, as I say before, R O O F. It's a roof. Now, the next one, let's color the chimney. Okay, the chimney is on the roof. What color? Okay, I will slow down. I will make it slower. Wait for you. What color is the chimney? Tell me. I choose the color and then we make the chimney together. Black. Okay, Anastasia. I will take the Anastasia's black color. So the chimney is black. I take my black color. Oh no, that's red. And here we go. The second one is a chimney. I can see one chimney here. Two chimneys. All right. Now, can you see any more chimneys? I think that's all. Okay, yes, the chimney is black. Wow, that looks scary. It's a real haunted house. We've got the roof, the chimney. What is next? Okay, one hint for you. What is next? What do we draw next? They are st stairs. Okay, what color are the stairs? Let's think. Write your ideas. Okay, I can see... Nadia says black, blue. Okay, I like all your ideas. So maybe let's take blue. Okay, blue stairs. The first one, the second, and the third. All right, very, very nice. So we got the blue stairs, the girl, okay, and I am waiting for you and the fence. Now let's take the green color. Who said green color? Let me see the green color. Okay, and make the fence. Let's say together and we can make the sentence. The fence is green. Okay, one more, one more and connect it together okay pink the next color we will we will take pink but what will be pink all right we didn't draw okay help me where can we sit we know we can sit on the chair on the sofa on the bed and we can sit on the tell me the name what's that tell me the name it's a b Bench. Yes, very good. So let's make the pink bench. You say it, let's make pink. Okay, here it is. The bench is pink. So we can color it in one, two, three, four, like this. Yeah. The bench is pink. And now it's time for the mailbox. What color is the mailbox? Okay. What color is the mailbox? We have the writings here. We'll finish in the end. Okay, we will write all the words and repeat them. Orange. Okay, nice. We will make the mailbox orange. Okay, here it is. And we can make the sentence. The mailbox is orange. Yes, with some dots. Like this. Oh, another, another side of the fence here it is 
Okay, what's left? We've got the door, but not the door, the front door. Tell me what color is the front door? You can knock, knock, knock in the front door. Okay, yes, we forgot to name them. We will finish after. Purple, okay, I can see many, many purple. So let's make the front door purple. Wow, nice color. Yes, I can see the purple. Yeah, okay, the front door is purple now. And one more thing, what is left? What is left? The balcony. Now, the last question for you, what color is the balcony? Okay, I wait for five more seconds. What color is the balcony? Any more colors? We had pink. Okay, brown. Okay, brown, please. So let's make the front, uh, the balcony brown. Okay, one, two, three, four. The balcony is brown. Now I can see a ghost here, so scary. So it's brown. Okay, now it's time for us to write everything. So the first one, we've got the roof. What color is the roof? We can make the sentence. The roof is red. Let's continue. The second one is our chimney. Chimney and the color. Let's say it together. Chimney is black. Okay, the chimney is black. Let's move on. The next one, what else have we got? We got the fence. What color is the fence? Right here and right there. Fence is green. That's fine. The next one, what else have we got? The roof, chimney, fence. Let's continue to the next one. Yellow, I can see so many questions. So stairs, let's color the stairs and say that stairs, S-T-A-I-R, S, stairs are blue. All right, the next one, who can make the sentence? Write the sentence. Bench is, or mailbox is, okay, stairs are blue, very good. Now tell me the sentence. And I write it. Stairs are blue. Thank you, Alina. Red. Okay. Balcony is brown. Okay. I take the brown color and write. Okay. Oh my God. Stairs turned brown. That's okay. So balcony B A L C O N Y. Balcony is brown. What's left? Mailbox. Ivan, thank you. Mailbox is orange. So let's write the mailbox. Mailbox. Okay, the mailbox is orange. Any more? Ooh, super minor. Bench is pink. So we write the sentence with B E N C H. Bench is pink. And something else. What's left? We didn't write something, or did we? What is left? The mailbox, the bench, the door. What is left? But not just the door, the f door is purple. Yes, the front door. The front door is purple. We can write F R O N T front D O O R. -R. Looks super nice. Okay, but now we can color the full picture. We can color the walls and the windows and the trees. But now you can use your picture to finish it. And after you can send it to us in Telegram or Instagram. Okay, because we almost finish. So let's come back to our presentation. We have almost finished. As I said before, now let's continue. We have corrected the sentences with you. And now I want you to remind, we've got the homework with all the words. I've got the homework where you need to write the words. You can get it to your email. So check your email box, mailbox to get this. Or you can write in our Telegram channel to get it too. So thank you so much for coming. 
And one more surprise for your moms and dads. You can call your mom because we've got a great discount for all the participants of our marathon. You got the 25% discount on the first package of the lessons. You can use the promo code MARATHON to get the good discount and enjoy your English lessons with a nice discount. So you can sign up for a free trial lesson. You can try for free via the link below the video or in the chat. So, and before we finish, I want to thank you everyone for coming. Yes, we finished for today, but the day after tomorrow, on Wednesday, we've got another lesson. So wear your Halloween costumes, we will draw again. Thank you so much and see you later. Goodbye, goodbye.